today we have got a patient uh, who came with a complaint of pain and decreased vision in the left eye for many months on examination right eye was normal 6 6 vision cornea clear media clear on iris uh, you can appreciate little atropian uv but otherwise fundus was normal left eye had hazy and edematous cornea raised intraocular pressure of 28 millimeter of mercury polychoria corectopia atrophic iris i asked straight away about history of trauma and there was no history of trauma or surgery fundus view was hazy so on the basis of above mentioned findings i diagnosed him as a case of ice syndrome irido corneal endothelial syndrome now what is ice syndrome it is a unilateral condition that involves an irregular corneal endothelium that leads to corneal edema iris atrophy and secondary angle closure glaucoma now it has got three variants if the predominant findings are of cornea it is called chandler syndrome if the predominant findings are of iris atrophy it is called essential or progressive iris atrophy and if there are pigmentary iris changes then it is called kogan reese or iris nevus syndrome now each of the above conditions can cause decrease of vision due to corneal edema and glaucomatous optic neuropathy Clinically, the corneal endothelium has beaten bronze or hammered silver appearance. Corneal edema is due to raised intraocular pressure as well as abnormal endothelial cells pump function. It should be considered in any young patient with unilateral glaucoma, corneal decompensation and iris atrophic changes like in our patient. The three conditions can overlap like most common of the above mentioned variants is the Chandler syndrome, cornea will be showing more edema, you will have less iris findings in Chandler syndrome. In essential or progressive iris atrophy, which is the second most common variant, iris atrophic findings are more prominent like polychoria, corectopia, iris hole formation, ectropian UV. Corneal findings may or may not be present or not that much marked. In Kogan Reese or iris nevus syndrome, anterior surface of the iris has <coughs> nodular appearance or pigmentary nodular lesions iris may not be atrophic so in our patient we got findings of both um, chandler syndrome and essential iris atrophy and there were no iris pigmentary changes now differential diagnosis are very important uh, the most nearby differential is exenfeld Rieger syndrome which is a congenital condition presents in early childhood and is always bilateral whereas eye syndrome is unilateral and presents late in adulthood for Chandler uh, syndrome the most common differential diagnosis is posterior polymorphous corneal dystrophy now let's come to the treatment uh, treatment uh, is that of glaucoma to decrease the intraocular pressure and corneal edema to clear the cornea from edema first you give medical treatment and then surgical medical treatment of glaucoma is beta blockers carbonic anhydrase inhibitors and alpha agonists to halt glaucomatous damage so by decreasing iop corneal edema also improves further it can be improved with topical hypertonic saline drops and artificial gels if iop not controlled medically trap with mmc is advised if corneal edema not controlled medically dsec can be performed so in our patient we advised medical therapy first and we will evaluate him